What is up you guys? This is Space Kryptonite here to bring you the news like no other. Today I present you the future. The future of Robocraft is upon us as Free Jam has decided their destination and surprises they have in store for us. So what is so special about this future? Well, let's say Robocraft is going to be changing completely. Now, you can all thank Mark and his 7 chapters of realizing the vision since he has kindly shown us the path. Anyways, let's start with the reason why this big update is coming to Robocraft. It all started back in the good old days where everything was peaceful, players would build to their heart's desire and was able to have fun. But then the darkness rolled in as few players started to realize the key to victory. Guns. Tons and tons of guns. It was at this point that Robocraft Universe started to become what Mark saw as devastation. Want to win a match? Stack 15 guns on your bot. Why not? There are no limits. In the end, we are left with a struggle. Creativity is possible, but not in the way you think. So, what is the plan, you may ask? Changes to almost everything. Hey, don't you dare click that. <clears throat> Bear with me, Robocraft is an alpha game. It is expected that we as players should respect that. An alpha game will change drastically until the game is satisfying to the developers. In this case, Free Jam sees the game is not reaching their peak of interest. So their plan is to change the way the game works. Now it's time to start listing the phases of Robocraft's future. And by future, I mean from one to 12 months from now. Also, keep in mind that all updates are not specific, meaning some updates may come at a later date than what I am telling you. Phase 1 Before Christmas Launch If you are a programmer, then you probably heard of Unity, which is a gaming software that FreeJam used to create Robocraft. Now Robocraft is updating to Unity 5, which should output better performance and optimizations, meaning it will run better on your PC. Next. We have a sketchy one. By sketchy, I mean whether or not all of this will be implemented before or after Christmas. All blocks will be transferred to one type of armor, which is Carbon 6. The reason behind this is because there are 11 types of armors in the game. Reducing it will allow players to get into a match faster and allow Free Jam to unlock all game modes. This will also allow Free Jam to work on other features rather than trying to create 10 different types for each part for each tier. This goes the same with weapons and other tier parts, but let me explain little by little. You will also get the paint tool which allows you to paint your blocks to whatever color you would like. Now you can paint your bot and not worry about losing health for being creative. With all game modes unlocked, Battle Arena will have an additional mode just for League. You can now play Battle Arena in a non-competitive fashion. And they are releasing a new set of shapes. Now for Phase 1, Stretch Goals. These goals are classified as bonus cookies since Free Jam is not 100% sure that all updates will go well. But if it does, here is what you can expect. Free garage slots for everyone. If you have purchased a garage slot with GC, you will be refunded. The idea of this is to allow everyone a chance to create limitless bots for limitless creativity. Also, the Community Robot Factory or CRF 2.0 will allow users to buy robots with RP, with the exception of cosmetics. Also, with the exception of CPU limit. If you do not have the max CPU that is required, you will have to pay GC. Next, your pilot seat will be no more. This means that your bot will destroy only when it reaches below a certain percentage of your health. The percent is not specific yet, but now you don't need to worry about having a big ball of protection around your pilot seat. Lastly, the server will match your enemies with your robot ranking and skill level. League will still be based off of stars, so don't worry about going try hard in a normal match of pit. Phase 2, the new year. This is a big one, so listen carefully, since this will happen throughout the year and is not specific to what will come first. You will have the ability to put multiple types of weapons on your bot, 
And this is not just referring to your Teslas. You can literally add an SMG and Plasma on the same bot. There will be a weapon select hotkey to allow you to choose your weapons. However, CPU costs for functional parts will be increased, so don't get trigger happy. This allows players to build strategically. Do you want a bot to have more health or utility or movement? These are things that will give your bot strength and weaknesses. There will also be a boost to max CPU for both normal and megabots. Now for the big part, weapon reworks. If you are not aware, some weapons in the game uses hit scans. This is a method of inflicting damage instantly rather than waiting for the object to hit its target. FreeJam is removing this feature for a more challenging type of gameplay. You must lead your shots kind of like the plasma, only the projectile has different properties based off its weapon type. Also, the size of the weapons will affect the type of gun you are using. Here's an example. A small SMG will shoot like an Uzi, while a large SMG will shoot like a Bren gun. The difference is that an Uzi does more damage at close range, while a Bren gun does more damage with targets that are far away. Small and large plasmas will also act differently. With pilot seats being eliminated, railguns will now leave fat capsule holes in an awesome fashion. Teslas will now only be active when you have them selected. Think of switching to your Tesla is faster than reloading. Nanos will now have a power bar which makes it have a reload feature when depleted. Six gun limit is no more. With CPU being buffed, your choice of weapons of having 10 plus guns will be equal to being an ADC in league. By this, I mean that your gun count will not change your fire rate. Guns will act equally regardless. Lastly, robot ranking will be terminated. This will allow players to be matched by CPU and player skill level. With RR being shoved out the door, you can expect to see more game modes and new weapons. Now lastly, Phase 3 and Beyond. These are features that will be in the back end of the project and will take a longer time to decide what will be worked on. Since this is something that will take a long time to discuss and is very vague, I will simply list the features for you. Tutorials for new players to understand how to play the game. Clans along with clan ranks, battles, tags, and more. More social improvements. More shapes along with large shapes. Decals more weapons and functional parts. Team Deathmatch 2.0, which will be changed based off the community. Non-combat games such as hub, PVE missions, racing, and more. Improved setting up and playing in platoons. Party mode for private matches. More megabot features, upgrading physics, localization, and lastly, server improvements and stability of servers. Now that you have the knowledge and vision of Robocraft's future, what do you think about it? How will you create your bots? This is by far the biggest template of updates that we will ever see. With the changes to weapons and armors, everything will feel different and will take time to adjust. With tears being no more, how much breathing room will this provide? Let me know in the comment section down below and be sure to like and subscribe for all your Robo needs. And until next time, this is Space Kryptonite Logan out. I will catch you guys later.